Hey y'all, Jade here. This is not a video I ever thought I would be making. Um, there's been so much that's happened today. I almost saved it for tomorrow morning, but I'm not gonna go to bed unless I get my thoughts out, bro. Today is December 19th of 2023. On December 14th of 2023, Joseph Wilson, or as we know him in the gaming community, the Fallout community, the Skyrim community, Mitten Squad. Mitten Squad has passed away. It's kinda... It's, um... It's hard to stay collected right now. Um... For those of you that don't know who Mitten Squad was, he did challenge videos for Fallout, Skyrim, and I, dude, I've tried to, I, I've, I've done so good at maintaining my composure through all this, but I, I've just cried so much today. There's been some other stuff that's happened, and I've, I've just. It's like, I, I can't cry, like, it, it's hard, I've just, I've cried so much today, bro. And then this was something just to add on to it. Um, I started watching Mint Squad's content during the pandemic, I feel a lot of us probably did. That's probably when we found him was during the pandemic when we were all locked up inside and um I I used to watch his videos so much and as of recent, you know, not necessarily but back when back when he was making videos consistently, I was I was watching it. Um but yeah, Mitten Squad has passed away. Um, it's gonna leave a hole in the not only just the Fallout Skyrim community, um, but the gaming community as a whole. Even if these weren't games you necessarily cared about, I guarantee if you're watching my video, you've probably watched Mitten Squad's videos. Um, Mitten Squad's one of the reasons during the pandemic that I decided to take content creation seriously. Um, he was one of those factors that regardless of your current situation, do what you can. Um, there isn't any confirmed cause of death. I've heard pancreas cancer. Um, Men Squad did suffer with alcoholism. Addiction, I can't say played a part because we don't know. We don't know if that's what did it, but... He was getting help. He, he wanted to get past his alcoholism. And if you've ever... You know, if you've ever dealt with anybody that's, you know, had problems with addiction, you know how hard addiction can be to kick. Um, we're not here to discuss the politics of addiction. We're here to talk about someone from our community that is just as human as we are and had his demons like we do have our own. Um... Men's Squad was a huge inspiration. Um, I feel I, I've I've had pretty low lows in my life, but I would say the pandemic, uh, what my family and I went through, was um, just another low of the lows. And being able to just watch Men Squad's videos, I would feel better. Regardless of what I was going through that day, how I felt, he had a very unique sense of humor that I I don't think even... That there's no one on this platform that had the sense of humor 
this man had. Um, I, in my life, I have never had a death that was close to me. Nobody I've known, you know, personally. Um, this is as close as it's ever gotten for me. And it's a whole new set of emotions. I, I, I don't know what I'm feeling right now. I, I don't know how I'm feeling right now. Um, I'm just... I'm just... It's hard, dude. It's just... And it's sad. It's just sad. I, I... It's the only thing I'm feeling right now, man. Just sad. It's just... It's, it's hard to... Like, I almost don't even want to believe it's real, because... But it's been five days, and he hasn't said anything. <laughs> um. Addiction's a bitch, man. When your personal battles are so rough that you you turn to substances, it's it's rough, dude. <laughs> like I said, there is no confirmed cause of death, but we can only really just gossip about what happened we we don't know there's no like official they, there's nothing i can find on an official cause of death <laughs> i hope in his final moments the days leading up he felt nothing but peace <laughs> that he was able to find some closure within himself and the battles he was fighting Um, I just want to say thank you Mint Squad. Thank you for bringing the community that enjoys these games as much as you do closer together. I'm sure with this shit, as the community's feeling about this, his family's absolutely devastated. Um, I ask that my community, along with anybody that's watching this video, do not take this as a, a way to go harass the family or bother them leave them the fuck alone remember you're human too and if this is something that had happened to you you would want your privacy you you wouldn't want people you don't fucking know messaging you and contacting you about this and harassing you so all i ask is that during this time you just respect their privacy just mind we can talk about it on the internet but outside of that for the love of god mind your fucking business with that being said in the description i am leaving some phone numbers for everyone um addiction is no joke it is something a good percentage uh people even in your life you probably don't even know they're suffering from it because they keep it hidden but for the love of God, if you are struggling, if you are struggling with addiction, reach out. Whether it's to these numbers, whether it's to me, I would rather you have somebody to talk to about what you're going through than to have you succumb to a sickness. This video is not fun to make, but I, I, I can't do anything. I, I, I just, this video needed to be made before I can move on with my day and actually start grieving. Um, just feels so weird saying it, man. Rest in peace, Mint Squad. You will be 
missed. <laughs> Severely. 